Okay, in this video, we're going to cover building a custom dashboard. So whereas with the metrics that we recently covered, you're able to visualize individual KPIs or metrics and kind of drill down into them. The value of custom dashboards is that you can visualize performance from two or more data sources, whether they're you know, native software tools that you use like marketing or sales tools or coming through custom API through your product um, or an SQL database or even spreadsheets. You're able to visualize multiple metrics from multiple sources side by side and you're going to get insights that those numbers in basic spreadsheets just can't show you. So in order to start building a custom dashboard, come to the left hand side under data boards. Now there's a few ways to get started. You could get started through a wizard and if you click new data board here, you can see we've got use wizard or start blank. So using a wizard is great. If you know the metrics that you want to use, the wizard will walk through. You just select the metrics that you want, and then it will walk you through selecting them and then spit out a data board at the end, and it'll sort of build it for you. Um, you can also do a template. So you can come here and browse public templates. And here you'll find relevant templates by use case or by team, popular templates like a social media you know, dashboard that a social media manager might use, for example. So you can find relevant templates here and you can start with just a couple clicks and then replace with your data. And the other way that you can do it uh, is just to start fresh. So that's what we're gonna do in this video. If you wanna fresh start and just drag and drop the metrics that you want, you can go ahead to start blank. So let's come here and we have a fresh data board. The first thing we'll do is look at the two panels. The left panel on the right allows you to take a look at various visualization types. Um, and then the metric library here is where we can pick the metrics that we want to drag and drop on. And then on the right side, once we drag and drop metrics on, we're going to have some additional options of what we want to do with those views over here. So let's start by tracking. Uh, let's pick a few different metrics. Let's look at uh, sessions from GA4. Okay, that was one that we looked at here. So we'll drag and drop that on. And once you drag and drop something on, you actually have the ability to resize it. So I can drag it over here and then you see some of these options come up on the right hand side. So that's one. And then let's say, let's take a look at homepage traffic. Okay, put that here. And let's say we wanna make that the same size underneath it. Um, and then let's do HubSpot new leads. Okay. Let's put that there. Okay. So if I want to, I could drag this down to make everything even. So here I've got my custom dashboard. It's as simple as that. You basically select the integration and the metrics that you want that you've previously either synced in your data manager or when you've added the metrics. Um, and if not, you can still sync and add them here and then you drag and drop them on and resize them. We also have the ability to change the color of the board. So I could change this, for example, to red or something like that. We'll change it here to purple for a better visualization. Um, and then we can name the data board. So we'll call it my first data board. Okay. So at this point, we've just built our first dashboard inside of a minute or so. Drag and drop the metrics on, resize them. We give the data board a name and change the color. And again, the beauty here is that you can visualize metric from a dozen different sources side by side. So if you were in marketing, for example, and you wanted to view paid ad performance, you could have metrics from every ad platform that you track alongside web traffic or SEO performance and email performance and everything. Um, the other thing that we'll cover in this video is sharing a public URL. So when we get done with this, we can copy the public URL and sharing this will let anyone view it. So immediately I can copy this, ping it to my team in Slack or post it in my company's wiki or share it with anyone with a client and it's accessible. They don't need an account. They don't need to log in and view it. It will share a publicly accessible web page where they can view this performance data. And we will go a little deeper into this later into some of your share options. But when we come to copy uh, public URL, you can see some additional options if you come to share and then click shareable link. We do have a couple other options here. Here's this link again. And if we click additional settings, we can limit this link to IP addresses or protect it with a password. So if you do need to protect it and not have it open, those are a couple options that you have. And we'll go over more sharing options in a later video.